Uh, so thanks for tuning in again and wasting a little bit of time with me today. Um, I'm actually cutting out this sign. Um, it's for a customer and we have a size constraint. So we can't really go any bigger than this. Um, we can't really scale this at any different size. But what the tool path is actually telling me with inside sheet cam is that my kerf width is actually too wide to go between these contour lines. So these green lines right here are your tool path. As you can see, it's cutting on an inside contour, which is inside the leather H and E, of course, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so what this is actually telling me, what the software is telling me is that with my curve width set at what it's set at right now, which is 0 0.046, this inside measurement is way too small to cut up this contour line, come back around and cut down this contour line because it will take out way too much material. Now, the one way to get around this is you can go back and rescale. You could even redesign this H to have a different contour line or scale it up, essentially make it fit. But the one thing that I've been doing, um, you actually just come in here to your operations. You go edit operations. You come over to your curve width here, which is set at, as you can see, I got 0 0.046. And what you want to do, you just want to blatantly lie to the machine. Just don't even feel bad about it. Just say, you know what? I'm going to lie to you and I'm going to say our curve width is now 0.02, which is quite a bit smaller. We're not going to have a machine rise up in quite a while, I hope. So lie to the machines as much as you can, while you can. And then that actually comes back here to the H. And as you can see, now my tool path will in fact cut there, cut the rest of the letter and come down and cut out that portion of the H. Now what I will say about this, guys, is that if you kind of forget you've done that um, and you are cutting something that's going to be a little bit you know tight tolerances it may cause an issue for you so definitely always check your tool paths and see if something is going to cut out or fall out that you don't want to cut out or fall out and uh, just be very mindful of it because although it is a hack and it can get you out of a jam sometimes sometimes it will actually put you in a worse off place than uh, where you previously were so that's just a little quick hack if you guys are using sheet cam or any CNC plasma tables. Or... And for anyone that's actually uh, wondering how that cut came out, well, here's our H that we had to kind of lie to the machine about our curve with. And as you can see, it actually came out pretty good. Never uh, wasn't a messy cut, doesn't look out of place, looks pretty uniform with everything else. It just bumped the curve width down, or you at least lied to the machine and told the machine that the curve width was actually smaller than what it actually is for that tip. So as you can see, this was 1.8 aluminum. Came out really great, happy with the cut. Little bit of cleanup now, little bit of powder coating, and it's off to the customer. Hopefully to help someone out, use it as a plan B or plan C. I wouldn't use it at every opportunity if you could rescale this up, but we were at a pretty small constraint. This is about eight inches, believe it or not, uh, about 12 inches long. So it's a pretty small sign, but uh, hopefully it helps one of you guys out. Thanks for watching.